Pricing is something that photographers struggle with. Put your hand up if you struggle with pricing. I know your hand's up right now at home. This is the Cardi method. Price is all about perceived value. So let me give you an example. And this is one of my favorite examples. You're looking at a laptop. You're looking at two laptops, okay? You wanna buy a laptop, you need a laptop. You're looking at two laptops. Now, one is from Dell and one's from Apple. Okay, now these two laptops, both of them have similar, similar specs, yet the Apple laptop, which I have right over there, I'm like an all Apple ecosystem. The Apple laptop is a thousand dollars more money. It's a thousand dollars more. Why? Because Apple has built a brand and that brand represents quality, innovation, and style. This isn't just about the product itself. It's about what Apple, what Mac, what Macintosh. It's about what the brand stands for. So let me explain to you why this is so huge. How you price your work isn't just about numbers. It's about how you're perceived as photographers. We need to understand that price isn't just a number. Price is a reflection of how we perceive our own value and in turn, how others perceive us. When you set your prices, you're making a statement about the quality of your work and the experience that you provide. You're telling your clients that what you offer is worth investing in. Early in my career, I made the mistake of undervaluing my work. I did this continuously. I set my prices low thinking that it was going to attract more clients. But what happened was the opposite. Instead of attracting clients who valued my work, I attracted clients who were looking for a deal. They didn't respect my time, my talent, or my photography. It wasn't until I reevaluated my worth, adjusted my pricing to reflect the true value of my work that things actually started to change. Suddenly, I was attracting clients that appreciated my work and were actually willing to pay a premium for it. So, are you ready to stand out from the crowd? I'm going to show you how creating a memorable experience for your client can set you apart. By the way, here's a secret. Guess what? You never see Apple go on sale. They don't go on sale. Cardi's right. They don't do fire sales or Black Friday or inventory clearances. Why? Because they understand the value of perceived value, the power of perceived value. They know that when you price your products at a premium, you're sending a message and that's what your offer is worth. That is what your offer is worth. The same principle applies with your photography. The only way to close deals is if your perceived value, the perceived value of your work exceeds what you're charging. And let me tell you, clients are often willing to pay three times as much for your work if they believe it's worth it. It's all about the work and the confidence to charge what it's truly worth. So I have this thing that I do for people. It's called an experience. I call it the Steve Carty Show. So what I create is a double thank you moment. And let's take this step to talk about how you can provide an experience for your clients. Imagine, we often pay three times the value for a cup of coffee, five times the value, 10 times the value for a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Why? Because we're not just buying coffee. We're buying an experience, the smell, the community, the personalization. They write your name on the cup. Those elements add value beyond just the cup of coffee. So here's where things get interesting. Your work's value is not just in the final product, but in the experience that you provide for your clients. This is what I call the double thank you moment. It's when both your client and you, the photographer, feel like the buyer and the seller, both the buyer and the seller feel like they've gotten more than their money's worth. As photographers, 
we got to create this same kind of experience. Our value has to be worth more than average. And the experience with us has to be more memorable, more fun. It's got to be priceless. So I call this tactic creating a double thank you moment. And it is crucial for your success. When I work with clients, I don't just deliver photos. I don't just deliver photos. I deliver an experience. From the moment that they contact me, I make sure that every single interaction is positive. Every detail is considered. And every moment is tailored specifically to their needs. I take time to understand what's their vision. I guide them through the entire process and I make sure that they feel valued at every single step. This way, this sets me apart from other photographers and it's why my clients come back again and again and again. Your pricing should reflect both the value of your work and the experience that you provide. In fact, the experience with you I want you to hear this. I want this to bounce through your head, okay? The experience with you should be worth even more than your photography. The experience that you provide, every negative experience you remember, every positive experience you also remember. You went to the store, that customer service guy, he was so good. He went back and forth 10 times to get you the right size. He was like, oh my God, that looks amazing on you. Those pants are a little bit short. Let me get another longer pair. He went, he got you a longer pair, blah, blah, blah. They looked amazing on you. Next, he's like, oh my God, I have this jacket. It's not even on the floor yet. I'm gonna, it, it, it fits you. We have one. I'm gonna go to the back, see if it fits you. So like extra, like that salesperson, you're gonna be like, you're gonna go home to your wife and be like, oh my God. I had the sales guy. He was insane. He was so good. He was so, and you're going to remember, do you remember the pants? Yeah, I got the pants. The pants are great. But the experience with that sales guy, that's why you closed. And that's why you're talking to your wife. Because if it wasn't a good experience, you would not only hate those pants, but you wouldn't go back to shop there. So when you achieve this double thank you moment, when you achieve that, you not only create incredible images, but also you create an unforgettable experience that your happy clients are so willing to pay for. So the transformation has to be made for you from camera technician to creative artist. There's a transformation that happens when you start seeing the new, start embracing risk and start understanding your value and sprinkle on a little bit of creating exceptional experiences. You move from being just a camera guy. Hey, yo, photo man, come over, guy with the cam, come on over here to being Someone who knows how to use a camera as an artist, as a creator, as a, a connector, someone who brings a unique vision and a unique value to the world. Top performers use this psychological hack, understand that their value isn't just in their work, but it's in how they make their clients feel. This transformation it's not easy. It requires a shift in mindset, a willingness to adapt and step outside your comfort zone and a deep commitment to this craft. But it's a journey and it's a journey that separates the hobbyist from the professional. It's the one, it's the journey that separates the good from the spectacular. So know this, being a successful photographer is about so much more than just taking photos or making photos. It's about seeing the new. It's about taking that risk, understanding that your work, your spirit, your creativity has value. And when people are around you, when you train your camera on someone, when you're speaking to somebody, you're creating an experience for them that leaves a lasting impact. When you embrace those three principles, 
you not only elevate your work, but also you're going to transform your career and your life. Remember, the journey from picking up a camera and understanding how to use it to being a creator, a photographer, an artist, someone who is not just taking pictures, but someone who is creating experience, experiences, what you're doing. And know that that requires you to constantly be challenging yourself.